Hey there, I'm so happy you're here. This vlog covers two weeks of photos. My day-to-day -day was pretty quiet as usual, but I do make some more oat bread, redo my rose garden, and put a new cat tower together for my girls. I'm taking you along for that, and I hope you enjoy the daily photos I made over these two weeks. The baby robins from the back porch have left the nest, but are staying close by. Every now and then I'll see them. This time I managed to get a photo of one. The rain has an uncanny knack for making me want to bake something. I'm out of oat bread, so that's what I'll bake today. The scent of bread baking is one of the most comforting scents a home can have. It could almost challenge chocolate chip cookies. It's a few hours later and the first rise is done. Time to knead it a little and put it in a loaf pan for a second rise. In the meantime, I'm going to make a cheese sauce out of vegetables and cashews. It's fantastic on roasted veggies and pasta. I usually make a double batch because I go through it so quickly.
the time got away from me and I let the bread rise a little higher than intended. Now I'm going to set up for a photo. The last step of making this bread before I bake it is to sprinkle some oats on top. I think this would make a great opportunity to use my flash to freeze the motion of the oats being sprinkled onto the bread. I made quite a mess with the oats, but now I have my picture made and as it is getting close to midnight, I am going to finally bake this bread. Today I'll be editing the bread photo you've just seen. I ended up combining several photos to make it look like a lot more oats were falling on the bread at once. The sunflowers I planted a few weeks ago were all immediately eaten by the chipmunks, so I'm going to make one last effort to get some wildflowers growing. I'm preparing the dirt in my rose garden and I'm going to dump all of my remaining seed packets here and hope for the best. The 
these packets are so old, I don't know if any of the seeds are viable anymore. There's a full moon tonight and I'm planning for that to be my photo. I set up my camera's intervalometer to photograph the moonrise. Since there was a layer of hazy clouds, I decided to go for a brighter exposure, which would blow out the detail of the moon, but give me the effect of the clouds passing over it. The brighter exposure also showed the halo of the moon. I didn't get any video for the next few days. This first photo is from a walk around the yard at sunset. The trees in the distance were getting the last of the sunset light and I liked the warm color contrast against the cool environment. This photo was taken the day before the one you just saw but I completely forgot to mention it while recording the video. The next day was yard work. I tried to get a little creative that day and used a slower shutter speed to take a photo while I was on the riding mower. I had to do it a few times because that mower is so bumpy. The next evening, the cats and I took a stroll around the yard. Josie enjoyed her walk. She has a much easier time getting around the yard when the grass is short. The cats are getting a treat today. They've outgrown their little cat tower and it's time to get them something that has room for them all. It's going to be a full day putting this together and since it is bucketing rain today, this will be a good way to pass the time. Autumn and winter moved right in. I'm sure Josie and Ruby will come around eventually.
The next photo was on my mom's birthday. I didn't get any video, but we spent the day together and got some cupcakes as a treat. The roses I planted are doing really well and starting to produce some nice blooms. Ruby and I took an evening walk to check them out. The next day I was on video duty for a wedding. The bride's aunts must have made a dozen different kinds of cookies for this wedding. I was in paradise. Believe me, I sampled as many as I could. The day after the wedding, I was very exhausted and I didn't take any video, but on a day when I'm just trying to rest and be quiet, what I like to do is kind of observe my house and how the light will change in it as the day goes by. The light in the house during the summer months is not as nice as it is in the winter. However, in the evenings, I do get this lovely glow from the brick on the front porch. I think it's important to get some quiet photos of my house, and I really enjoy all the layers of my entryway from this view. I've been working on one of my large gardens off and on for a few weeks, and I was hoping to get it finished before the summer heat came, but unfortunately that didn't happen. This was one of the last days I worked on it, and by the end of the day, I was as tired as winter here. Josie was curious about the progress, and I got a photo of her in front of the flowers. I've got quite a lot of baked goods building up in the kitchen. I thought I would take this opportunity to set up a photo of everything. Having random unexplained flowers in a food photo always seems to add a lot of interest. The clematis vine in my backyard is bursting with flowers, so I decided to grab a bunch of those and scatter them around the countertop. That is all for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the photos and I thank you, thank you so much for coming along this photo journey with me. I hope to see you back next week. Goodbye.